right, so here is a video for Masterpiece Bumblebee, and this is going to be, I said I was going to do this, and I've had a long day, and I just want something to kind of relax and feel like I'm doing something constructive. So here is how to transform him back to vehicle mode, because the instructions leave out and omit, or are very confusing about a few steps. I mean, you, if you're messing with him, you'll probably figure out what to do, but just to make it a little easier. First off, also, I customized his battle mask. I really like it. Uh, I was just kind of... I have two of them, and I thought, eh, you know what, I wonder, if, I wonder what the battle mask would look like uh, if it were gray. So at first I painted this the battle mask gray, and I'm like, that looks good. And then somebody suggested pointing out or painting the eyes blue, but he does have a really cool honeycomb pattern in that clear plastic, so I'm like, oh, I bet you I can paint the inside of him. And that's exactly what I did. I'll just pop it off to show it off real quick. Um, but yeah, I just used... Sea gray, you can use any sort of gray to paint the uh, the outside of the mask. And then on the inside, I just kind of started off with a, light, a dot of like lighter blue and then kind of slowly got darker around the edges and then just kind of smeared it around. And I think it looks pretty cool. So somebody mentioned it looks animated and I didn't see it at first. And like now that I'm looking at it on the small screen here in through the phone, it does look kind of animated. It was my first thought. I'm like, oh, it kind of looks like animated. Be oh, I get it. Anyway. So to transform to robot mode, and I don't have the instructions right here in front of me, but I will try to follow them in the order that they do it, although it, there's a few places where it's easier to not do it the way the instructions tell you to do it. But anyway, so he, he comes packaged in robot mode, and the first thing you need to do is flip his heels out because these come folded in like that. So just make sure those are flipped back. Uh, that will help you with some stability issues. I need to put some polish on this tab because this tab just does not want to stay in. Um, down here on the chrome. Anyway, so to transform him. So up here on the on the back, turn him around, fold these out, and fold the wheel well down. The window comes up, and then tabs in. There's a tab here, so do it like that. And then those doors are done, and we'll, we'll deal with them more later. I like to go ahead and lift this up. And uh, kind of get that out of the way. It's going to give you a lot more clearance for stuff. Go ahead and flip this up. So it's kind of sitting like this on his back. Again, here is where you lift these up. And I find if you help, it helps if you support by kind of pushing down on this. Because it does bend the plastic and it does like to pop the whole bumper off. So if you support it here as you lift it up, it's less likely to come flying off. Because when you lift these up, it, it's not glued on. I suppose you could glue it on, but I don't want to risk it. Um... So yeah, but lift that up. And on the legs. And here's where, like, again, there's a lot of moving parts and the instructions are not entirely clear on what you're supposed to do. First thing, fold these down. Just grab it right up here at the end of the bumper and then just snap it into place there on the thing. Untab this from the back of the leg. And then there's a swivel hinge here. You want to kind of take this whole assembly and rotate it out to the side so you've got some room there on both legs. Flip out the wheels. Again, this is slightly out of order, but just to get it uh, where we want it. Uh, fold in the heel pieces here on the feet. Now the instructions show to open these up, but they don't, they don't ever actually show that you're supposed to fold these in. It's pretty obvious once you have it in hand, but the instructions don't show that step of folding in that little... Uh, metal piece into the foot. Take the toe piece, flip it forward. I have noticed that these die cast parts are, they're not tarnishing like Megatron did, but they are they are already kind of, the shininess of the of the die cast is, is, is getting tarnished a little bit. Um, flip those up. You, and like I said, you can actually lock them in and just push them all the way down. Uh, take these little gray pieces here in the foot and flip them up. And then take this, and then I will show a few little tricks that make this a whole lot easier in vehicle mode. Um, so take this, rotate the foot up like that, and when you, as you come up, you want to have this be as straight as possible. The, the dark gray plastic should be straight with the black piece. And then uh, kind of move this out of the way. And then the foot should go flat right up against the body like that. Because if you have this twisted, it's very hard to get it all to line up. So you want to make sure that gray piece is straight. And then once you got that done, flip the feet down. 
Now, it looks, you can fold these all the way back up on the, these little black pieces on this hinge. But to get the car to fit together properly, you can see if you put it like this, there's a little bit of a gap between them. And you can get him into car mode like that, but he'll line up better if you kind of wiggle these. Don't put these all the way flat. Wiggle them out just a little bit because there is a peg on this side that pegs into this one. And the only reason for it is for vehicle mode because it will not fit uh, together in robot mode. So make sure those are pegged together and uh, when you peg all this together. And it should space everything out properly. You might get, you can see there's more of the pin exposed on this side than that side. And it's just a matter of kind of wiggling these and adjusting them until it's about the same on both sides. So it's right there in the middle and it's straightened out. It will, uh, as long as you peg these together, it will kind of find its own way to the right position as you transform it with just a little bit of massaging. But the, the more you can have that lined up before you get keep going into car mode, the easier it's gonna be down the road. Also take note of these little gray parts on the feet. Take note of this little peg right here uh, on the outside of the foot. That's going to be important later and is actually a big part of the reason why some don't sit flat. I, I figured that one out like literally just yesterday. And you can do the top and the bottom halves in either order. Like once you come time to put the whole thing together, uh, you, you have to do that step last. But you can transform the feet first. If you transform his upper body first, you're not going to get in too much trouble. Although you do need to have these more or less done before you fold the arms in. So lift up his chest pieces and go ahead and fold these fake bumpers down. Uh, take these and angle them. Like I said, they kind of click into place in the upper position, but fold them down so they're straight out. The arms rotate upside down like this. And then these panels right here open up, flip around to the, the other side, and then rotate the panel so it's pointing toward his fist. You can do that before you fold them up as well, but just again, flip that all the way around and point this toward his fist. And then unhook them from the shoulders and then rotate them down and around like this. And here's where it gets a little tricky because you can see there's a notch up here in the chrome piece right above my finger that the point of this black piece has to get up into. Worry about it, go ahead and swing them back around here like this. And this is where you wanna be concerned with getting it up into that notch because you take it and uh, fold the arm at the shoulder, that whole shoulder assembly all the way down until it sits into that notch. If you do it earlier, it uh, you can still get it around, but it makes it a little harder to get it around all the armor down here. But make sure that that black piece folds all the way up into that notch. And then also there's a peg on this arm that you wanna make sure, and a peg on this arm, there's peg in a slot and a peg in a slot. You want to make sure the arm, the shoulders peg together inside here as well. So yeah, we'll push that all the way up into the notch on this side and then make sure you get those lined up and pegged together because that will cause some alignment issues uh, in vehicle mode if you don't get those pegged together just right. There we go. You'll feel them kind of crunched together. And here's where um, I, a, a lot of the alignment issues in the rear wheels that make him kind of wobbly in vehicle mode come in because the instructions don't really show this step, at least not that I found. If you do this right, inside of this, this little gray piece coming out that's holding this yellow piece, there's a little tiny peg hole. Uh, I don't even know if you can see it, like right here at the edge of it, that needs to peg on to this little peg here on the foot. That's why I said pay attention to it. And if it doesn't, it's you, you can actually fold them all the way into car mode with this sitting up a little higher, and that will affect the alignment. Like even if you have the waist straight, um, that's another thing to check is make sure the waist is straight when you're going to vehicle mode. But if you don't have this actually come down and peg onto that little tab and you'll feel it kind of pop on, it, it'll one of the wheels will be lower than the other and it'll wobble. Now it may come loose over some of the ensuing transformation bits to just before you fold up these panels onto the side, just make sure those are pegged in together. It makes it the whole uh, assembly process of the rear end a lot easier. Leave that out like that. So we lifted these up, go ahead and pop his chest down and pull it up, the whole assembly up like that and fold his head back. Again, the instructions make it sound like this, these tabs should lock into place here, but uh, 
It really doesn't. They just kind of rest in those on those holes. And bring, make sure that's all the way up and in. Facing forward like that. And here's where it tells you to pull these out, like lift. I like to get these in mostly in the position. You should have the arm should come up and then angle up like that. So this angle, this angle piece sits right up against the piece behind it and then fold this forward a little bit. Um, the, the closer you can get those to their final position now makes it a lot easier. Because in the instructions, it says to go ahead and plug this front bumper in. And there's issues either way you do it, but I found it's a lot easier to get these wheels into place if you wait to put the whole top assembly down. So take the whole arm assembly with the wheel and the, uh, the door piece here and rotate it here at the missile launcher in the chest. And here's where you have to be really careful about how you align this because this gray piece rotates and there's a hinge here and you've got to get this square peg into this panel. If you try to do it, you also have to get it over this tab in the hood if you already put the hood down and trying to angle that in and all the right way is, is difficult enough when you can see everything you're doing. But you wanna make sure to fold this all the way up like that. Or actually straighten it up like that. And you wanna get this square peg into this yellow square right here on the back of this piece. Sometimes it'll line up right away and it helps to keep all of this straight. You wanna have that collapsed right up against the body of the car. And while you're doing that, also it'll move around these uh, the bumper here, but make sure that the, the important part here is to make sure this is pegged on because you can come up here and you can kind of pull this out. It does expand out. And the bumper, if you have the bumper already in place, it will hold it in the proper position. Uh, you can see that this the shoulder piece slides out. But I found that the hassle of getting the hood down past this piece is a whole lot easier if you already have this piece in place versus uh, trying to fight this into both this peg and up underneath this peg as well. There's a couple places like that, like getting all this back in place is similarly frustrating. Yeah, you can kind of slide that out. There's a little tab on here that slides into a slot. So yeah, come back here again. Try to get this as flat up into the body as possible so that square tab goes right on. And then kind of line line this little tab up on the front bumper piece and slide it into this piece here. And, and there it's mostly where you want it. Now you're going to have to wiggle a little bit to get the, uh, this, the hooks on the bumper behind these pieces, but it's a whole lot easier at this point with these tabs going in from the top instead of trying to wiggle it all together. So just take this piece and bring it on down. And again, you got to wiggle. Make sure you hold these bumpers out as you bring it down. And if they come loose a little bit, just kind of wiggle them up past the uh, past the bumper and back into that little slot there on the on the wheel well, just like that. Like I said, and then the front of this hood will kind of help push those into place once you've got that done. But getting those tabs in from the top is way easier than trying to get this whole wheel assembly up into there with this already tabbed down. Go ahead and lift this hood up here. And you come back here, take this, make sure the hands are kind of folded down. If you have the hands straight, um, they will, they'll bump up against this. Also, again, double check to make sure that these gray pieces are tabbed in properly. This one came loose. I just felt it come loose, so... Make sure that's tabbed on against that gray piece right there. And once that's done, bring this forward. And while you, you kind of want to support the yellow piece from behind as you snap it in from the front, but that actually makes this a whole lot easier to snap in. Also, you want to make sure this is down. Again, make sure it's th this pin hinge right here is down and then right at the bumper folded in because there's some tabs in here. Try to make it as flat as Look like as, as natural of a car rear as possible and then get it as far up as possible without bending it. Like I said, push back past this. Make sure everything back here comes together. This yellow tab on the window goes past and that the yellow tab in here goes into the right tab in the bumper. And lock it all together. Again, make, make sure this one's tabbed in properly. Uh, support it back here. I think that came loose for a second. There we go, make sure the arms are straight. 
ish. And this comes down like that. And then you can kind of push forward from the front. That'll slide right back there. And then you can kind of manipulate this to sit in where the tab fits. And just bring the hood down, snap it into place, and then anything that's loose you can kind of mush together to fit properly. And now you can see he doesn't wobble. He's got just enough clearance to roll, especially if we make sure the wheels are all the way down, and uh, and it doesn't wobble back and forth. It's a pretty secure car. And like I said, a lot of it I was having trouble with that. You should also make sure like these. One of the one of these pins on the door may stick out a little farther from the leg, but uh, as long as they're similar in, in distance, if one pick sticks out a little farther than the other and it's not wobbling, don't worry too much about it. But uh, if one of these is significantly out, then you've probably unpegged one of those gray pieces inside the vehicle uh, there on the heel. But there he is. There he is. Is a vehicle, and it's actually once you know some of those little tricks, it's not super difficult to consistently wrap up his vehicle mode and not have it wobble and have it have just, I mean, he did, the, because of the foot block and these pieces right here, he doesn't have a whole lot of clearance. You can see just how tight that clearance is, but he will roll freely if you get all that stuff lined up properly. And again, the, cru the crucial bits, like to really get the vehicle mode lined up properly, you have to make sure those little tiny tabs from the arms are pegged on to the heel pieces and they don't show that in the instructions. Or at least if they do, they don't make it clear that that's what they're showing you because I looked and could not find it. So just something to keep an eye on. And that does make the, the vehicle mode a lot more stable. You can see there's like, again, while you can see the transformation lines, there's no gap in the bumper back here and he's not wobbling. It's a much, it's a very secure, solid beetle mode. So yeah, hopefully that helped. I said I was gonna do it. And I, I finally got around to, to actually sitting down and getting it shot. So there you go. Masterpiece Bumblebee from Robot to Vehicle.